Welcome guys, David Benavidez with another dominant victory. Guys, if we want to see the big fights, we need to apply pressure. David Benavidez is the best pick for Canelo. I'm sorry, Jamie Mungia, but I said it before. You definitely deserve a shot at the title, but David Benavidez is the man boxing needs Canelo to fight at this moment. Okay guys, I'm a bit of a teacher, so follow me with this wild analogy. So it's just like when you're cooking and there's that ingredient, a relatively important one, but you can add it to the pot over a wide time interval and it's not going to mess up what you're cooking. So this is like Mungia. Mungia should fight Canelo, but it can happen later this year or next year. It's okay, we're good on this. Folks, bear with me now. There's also that one ingredient that requires your utmost attention and you need to add that ingredient at a specific time or you mess up the whole damn pot. This, my friends, is David Benavidez. He's that hot chili that can make or break things. If we don't see a Canelo versus Benavidez fight anytime soon, the momentum in the super middleweight division will burn out and there'll be no more cooking in that division for a long time. Chef. Now guys, I don't really like the excuses that Canelo is making to avoid fights with guys like Benavidez and Crawford. Take a look at this clip. If you had Canelo sit in front of you right now, what would you say to him? I'm not scared of nobody. I've heard everybody that's been in front of me, and Canelo's no different. And I will hurt him too, and I'll take all his belts. It's, it's crazy that he asked for 150 million or 200 million to fight me, but he still has the nerve to say that I don't bring nothing to the table. So if I didn't bring nothing to the table, why are you asking for more money than you won in your whole career if I don't mean anything? Maybe after he gets that money, he can buy himself a pair of balls. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, the people I'm getting frustrated, I just want to fight the best. I've earned my title shot and I've earned to the people, I've earned the respect from the people, so now let's make the fight happen. In the end of the day, you never know, somebody might even put down that money and make the fight happen. If, if you think about the super middleweight division, I'm the top. Yeah. Other than Canelo, I've been taking out everybody they've been put in front of me. I've been a vicious champion for a long, long time, and you know, I've, I've, I've won my shots, you know, I've earned my respect. Now the only thing that's keeping me from being champion is Canelo. You know, he doesn't want to give me the, the, the shot at the title. Because I've been the number one contender for the past three years, and the dude is holding up all the belts. So, according to Benavidez in this clip, it's like Canelo wants 150 to 200 mil from a fight with him, which is the most Canelo would make in a single fight. Yet Canelo doesn't think Benavidez in turn deserves a title shot. Also with Crawford, Canelo believes he's too small and doesn't have a good enough resume, yet Canelo fought Jamel Charlo. In my opinion, boxing needs Canelo to fight Benavidez and I believe a poll among die-hard boxing fans would indicate this. Jamie Mungia definitely deserves a shot, but at this present time, he is not the top draw. David Benavidez is. Now guys, I don't think I can say much more on this issue, but this fight is the biggest and best fight for the 160 pound division right now. David Benavidez versus Canelo. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave a comment within the comment section if you want to add anything about David Benavidez. So until my next one, peace out.